Javid Ahmad Hakmal served as an interpreter for Canadian soldiers on the front lines in Afghanistan. From 2009 to June 2011, he was a part of the Canadian mission to help win the hearts and minds of locals. I have certificates with me. I have letters with me that there are many Canadians, commanders, high-ranking high people. They clearly say that this is the person who saved my life. If Javid was not there, I would be not alive here now. One of Hakmal's platoon commanders from his days as an interpreter calls him a brother in arms. It's been hell of a ride for him to, to get out because he followed all the requirements for a Canada um, process. Jeremy Vaville set up a GoFundMe page to ease the family's burden. Hakmal filed his family's application to move to Canada under the special immigration program on July 28th, just days after it was unveiled. Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada says it's continuing to process applications for Afghan refugees day and night, adding we have mobilized our entire global network to process visas and issue them on an urgent basis. Until they're officially accepted by the Canadian government, they're not eligible for any Canadian supports. But they're not eligible for any Ukrainian services either because they're not claiming asylum in this country leaving them to fend for themselves, which means relying on donations from friends and strangers. At the end of August, there were two families who were rescued by Ukrainian special forces. It was really dangerous. Well, it was the Globe and Mail who got them out of Kabul. It was staff from the office of the Liberal MP for Thunder Bay Rainy River, Marcus Polowski, who took up an initial collection and flew Javid, his wife and kids out of Kandahar when the Taliban moved in. I know for a fact there were people in the minister's office who cared a lot and really wanted to help. Still, Robert St. Aubin says more accountability is needed. He no longer works in the MP's office, but says he started collecting names of Afghans who worked for Canadian soldiers in 2019. He says the government could have acted faster. I would love for there to be an investigation, maybe a committee report, a study, something to find out what happened. I don't think that's ever going to happen. But it would just be great to know like who's responsible and for them to take accountability. There is no other, other chance. This is the only chance to save my family. The Hakmals in the meantime are just hoping more months won't pass with them sitting in Ukraine. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, Kiev.